new and today I wanted to do a comparison of the new Natasha Denona Coral, the mini like five pan palette. It's not the mini minis, but the five pans that she I think first started out with um, that are $48. So I got her new Coral palette and I want to compare it to the Sunrise palette because you know some of the shades are very similar and I wanted to just see was it worth picking up the coral palette even though I have the sunrise or should I have just saved my money and just stuck with the sunrise so I just thought I would try those um I read somewhere on Instagram somebody compared like why spend $48 for five pans when you could get a palette like the sunrise that has way more pans than that for I think it's $65 so not too much more and you get way more shades so that is something to think about if you were considering the coral palette but you don't have the sunrise so maybe you just spend that extra money for the uh, sunrise so we'll see um, I just thought the shades were really pretty and I just wanted to see like maybe the closest shades in the sunrise palette to the coral one do one eye with that and the other eye with uh, the coral palette and see if they look exactly the same or if you can tell the difference at all or what happens um, today has been quite well it's been quite the week uh, I can't believe my birthday was already a week ago it feels like ages ago that's so crazy it was just only a week um, that we were in Vegas and this week um, Mark was here visiting our friend and so that was really nice having him stay and we went out you know to eat a lot and did stuff with him um, despite having to work during the week and yesterday was Saturday I don't know when this video will go up unfortunately but on Saturday we had to drive him back to the airport in Vegas and we actually stayed overnight because Pippa had one vet checkup um she's done with her chemo treatment but it was just a quick checkup with the vet over there that wanted to check her lymph nodes and make sure everything was okay still so we just decided to stay overnight do the vet appointment and i actually drove back and just got back a little while ago from vegas um, by myself because dan <laughs> had to fly out from Vegas to go to San Francisco for work so he's going to be there for a few days so it's just so much craziness going on so I apologize my face is just completely like bare and ready to apply makeup and try this uh, video out and yeah it's just going to be a few days that I'll be alone doing my thing <laughs> with Pippa and um, then Dan will be back and then we have a few weeks of uh, normalcy and routine and then off we go to Sephora so that I am looking forward to but it is like nice to get back to uh, our regular routine it's just something <laughs> that's just been crazy all week so let's get started um, I might fast forward a few bits here when I'm just like applying my, my the makeup and you know just I know these videos tend to go really long so this is um, the new uh, Ciate watermelon hydrating primer I just figured I'd use some new products here out on camera I love the smell of this, but it is very gel and watery, kind of, so it's, um, might not be best for, like, my, uh, combo to oily skin, but, you know, I'm not going anywhere today, so, just figured, do this. I did a bunch of chores around the house, so I might be a little bit red, and I'm also a little bit red from the, um, just hanging out with Mark. We went to the lake a couple of times, and being in Vegas, so... But I just finished doing cleaning the house pretty much for the day. So I'm done with all my chores. So I'm going to try one of the new foundations I picked up at Sephora. I didn't want to do the Pat McGrath one because I feel like everybody already has their videos up about that one. So I'm going to try this one here for me. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. And it's supposed to be like SPF 15 and semi-matte like finish. So... This is it here. I love the bottle. It's very luxurious. I kind of am kicking myself for picking this up because I forgot that she has a new foundation that's coming out probably in the next couple of weeks or so. And I, I really wanted to try that one. So I was like, why did I buy this foundation when she has a new one coming out? But you know, we'll see. I'll see how that one, if it will suit my skin. So I have my little beauty blender. Just pop a little here. This is the shade 6.5. So it looked like a pretty good shade match. I'm just gonna use my mirror so I'm not like all up in the camera. I could open this. So it's so hard to tell in store, at least in my opinion, what shade match works for me. 
This one looks a little kind of peachy undertones, but I think it's blended out, it's okay. And since I have been getting a little bit tanner, I'm gonna make sure I don't go too light. Sometimes I feel like you really gotta work a lot with the beauty blender. I love the way it looks, but just like, how many times do I have to keep doing this? <laughs> That was just like one pump that I used. I think it did pretty good coverage, the light medium coverage, and I feel like if I want to add more, I can. Maybe I will do just a tiny bit more in some areas. Definitely have some sunspots from being out in the sun and some old acne spots that are healing, so I'm gonna try and cover that as much as possible. Okay, that looks pretty good. So yeah, not cakey, not... Not too full coverage, it doesn't really feel heavy on my face, and I think that is a pretty good shade match with my tanner skin. Okay, so let's start with the eyes. Oops, put the cap on wrong. So, this is the new Coral palette, very pretty. I really love that middle shade there. That is like one of the main reasons I purchased it, but then I was like, oh crap, you know, that really does look pretty similar to the Sunrise palette, which is here, dust it off. And when I first got this, I, I love this palette, so gonna do it upside down so I try not to blind you so that middle shade looks very similar to this shade here in the sunrise palette as well as kind of all of them so what I think I'll do is I'm gonna just swatch all five of these on my arm so you and then I'll swatch the five that I think are the most similar here in the sunrise um, just compare them in swatches and then we'll go in and do an eye look for each eye Those four right now. I'm gonna leave some room where I swatched them so I could put the similar ones from the Sunrise palette underneath. That's the purpley one that's really pretty. And then one more. I already ran out of room because I left too much space. That's what happens. I'll do, do it here. Okay. So those are the five coral, five pan. So let me clean my fingers. So the first two shades from the coral palette, I'm going to use these two from Sunrise. Sorry. So that shade up top and the shade right below it for the first two, which is Awakening and Morgan. Those two. So like they say, we're gonna do it right underneath. So the first two aren't too, too similar. Like this one is a little bit darker a little bit more kind of rose gold and that's more of a pinky gold. The second two, this one is a little bit pinker and that's one, that one's a little bit peachier. So similar but not exact, so okay, good, good. Clean that off my fingers. So the next two is that purple shade, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do this purple one here for the next one, sorry, and then this kind of burnt red one here for the fourth one. And that's the shade Aster and Jasper. 
So those two. Jasper. Jasper. So Aster is definitely more kind of purpley. And Jasper is more of a reddish terracotta shade, whereas the one from the Coral Palette is kind of like more maroon. More maroonish brown. So, still different enough in my opinion. I was surprised that the one, um, this one here, the middle one there, wasn't more purpley. It's more kind of like a pink shift to it. And the one from the Sunrise Palette seems to be more kind of like a lavender shift. But when you look at it, it's kind of hard to see in the light here. But the one from the Coral Palette is definitely a pink shift when you look at it, at least from this angle. So, yeah, that definitely was a little bit more different than um, I was expecting. So that's good. So I do think I can justify keeping this palette as well as the Sunrise. So, but we'll see how it like I said, translates on the eyes. Ooh, some of these shades really stain your fingers. Okay, last one. It's this kind of sparkly, shimmery red one here. Kai, it's called on the back. And I think, I think the one it's most similar to in the Sunrise palette is this center one at the top there called Phlox. And I swatched it right here. Oops, sorry, the swatches are so bad. So I would say those two are probably the most similar. Yeah, pretty much, sorry. Pretty much on the arm is really, really similar. So those are the two that are the most similar. And I think the ones up here, you can see the variance in those at least maybe that one's a little bit close but not too bad but those are the last one in the pan is the almost exact same as the one from the sunrise okay so those are the swatches so let's go ahead and do the eye makeup okay so my makeup brushes are not clean i know but we're just gonna try to wipe them off as much as possible so we're just gonna go for it so I'm just using the mirror from the Sunrise palette, but I'm going to do the first eye with the Coral palette here. So I'm going to put this, what shade is it? Dakota, this peachy shade here all over my lid to start. And we'll do this eye for the Coral. Sometimes I feel like eyeshadow primer kind of is a hindrance when using. Sometimes I feel like it's very hard to blend out because it's all sticking to the primer. And I don't like to spend forever blending. I'm just lazy. Okay, so that's just the peach shade all over in Dakota. And now I will use this other, so there's only two mattes in the Coral Palette. So I'm gonna use the other matte shade, Lyria, Lyria, this dark terracotta shade in the outer portion. Kind of deepen it up. I'm very pigmented. And I think she's gone back to her quality formula. I don't know why she kept changing them. It's like everybody loves your eyeshadows. Why mess with something that works? And I'm also going to use that shade for the lower lash line, but let me get a different brush for that. So still Lyria, just in the lower lash line. Okay. 
Okay, good enough. I usually like something a little bit darker for the lower lash line, but there isn't really a darker shade in the palette. So that is the lower lash line. I really want to use the, I want to try and use all the colors. So yeah, it might, I think it can be kind of a cohesive look. So I'm going to use the shade here, this bar one on the right, which is called Kai on the kind of outer corner too, a little bit. And I just, I always use fingers for my shimmer shadow, so I don't know, I just feel like that's better color payoff. I'm not one to use MAC Fix Plus for metallic shades. I just feel like I end up getting hard panned if I like stick it back in the pan or something, so I don't know, I just never did that method. So I just tap that in on the outer corner there. And now I'm going to use that middle shade here, this purpley pink duochrome, which is called abalone, so that makes sense. I'm going to pack that all in the center of the lid. The shade is just gorgeous. No glitter glue, although I'm wondering if I should have. Ooh. Love that shade. Just pat a little bit more. shade, the fifth shade, which is called Lola, this peachy pink shade here. I'm going to put on the inner corner, and that one I will use a brush for. Oh, So I think that is a nice eye look. I like how it performs and managed to use all the shades. See it up close. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any more blending because then I feel like it kind of takes away from the shimmery part and don't get the pop of color. So now I'm gonna do this eye with the Sunrise palette. So this palette here, and use the similar shades that were here. So let's see, what did I do first? So I'm gonna use the shade Morgan, this peachy one all over the eyelid like the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna use the reddish kind of terracotta shade, Jasper. I'm deepening it up on the outer corner and on the lower lash line. Very pigmented. You only need a very light hand. So I feel like this shade Jasper is a little bit brighter than the one over here, which was Lyria. Yeah, that one seems a little bit redder and this is a little bit kind of orangey. Take the same shade and put it on the lower lash line. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's definitely brighter there. <laughs> and then I use the shimmery red shade. So I'll take this one, Phlox, and pat it on the outer corner. A little bit. So that one is, even though this was like the most dupable dupe shade, I feel like this one is showing up more vibrant than this one. This one, I kind of can't even see anymore. I kind of want to tap that one all over the, out, the outer corner, but I'll wait. Wait till I compare both eye looks. So that, the one on the left is definitely looking brighter. Now we're going to take that purple Duo chrome here. This one is Aster. And put that all over the center of the lid. No glitter glue or anything that looks very similar to the shade here on the right when it's laid down on the eye, but I feel like this glitter really kind of got all over the rest of the eyelid. I don't know if it was just me being careless, but I feel like the one from the Sunrise palette had a little bit more fallout than the one from the um, Coral palette. Just brushing away some glitter. Just a little bit more. And now the last shade, Awakening. So this shade here for the inner corner. So in up close, yeah, you could definitely, well, at least I can see it. It's hard with the light. The inner corner of the sunrise is definitely has a pink undertone and the one from the coral palette has a uh, peach. Pink peach, but pretty darn similar. Yep. Mm-hmm. So those are the two eyes. This one is the Sunrise palette. This one is the Coral palette. So upon, like from the camera view, I think they pretty much look really, really similar. But like in person, up close, you can see some subtle differences. Ugh, glitter fall out. I think the purple, lavender, Glitter shade is pretty much the same on both lids, but like I said, this one seemed to have more fallout. The mm, the matte terracotta shade is a little bit like brighter orange than this one, but it's pretty similar. And the two inner corner ones, like I said, pink, more pink on this one and peach on that one. I don't know, can you tell peach? And then pink, but yeah, I can't really see that on camera. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty similar. So, would I buy the coral palette knowing that it can create the same eye look as the sunrise? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have. I, I probably, yeah, could have just realized that. The Sunrise palette has the same dupable shades than the Coral palette, but I'm not going to return it. I'm not like, oh, I return. I'll just return it. No, I, I, I mean, I like this palette. I like that it's, you know, one of the five pans that is travel friendly and easy to just take with you rather than take the big Sunrise palette. But I think if you don't have either, spend the extra, what, $17 and get the Sunrise palette because you have way more shades. Yeah, you have 
15 shades in the Sunrise palette versus five in that one. I mean, the pans are bigger in the five pan, but like I said, you could create the same look and get the same dupable shades from the Sunrise. So I think that will help save your money. Um, I'm just gonna finish my makeup look. If you were interested, I don't know. Um, if you wanted to continue watching this, I'm using the new Fenty, well, new, new to me, Fenty bronzer in Shady Biz. I'm really liking the foundation. I think it's really helped smooth out. And even my skin tone can cover up some of those healing blemishes. I'm using the Too Faced You're So Jelly Jelly Highlighter in the shade Gilded Champagne. I love this highlighter, it's gorgeous. And I've only been, I mean, this jar is still full, but I've only been like tapping my finger in the cap here and that's just like enough for, for highlighter. And it smells so yummy. Like, I think it does smell like Jolly Ranchers, like watermelon. Jolly Rancher candy or something. So, what do you guys think? Do you did you get the uh, the coral palette and also have the sunrise, or are you just getting one or the other? Did you think that you didn't need the coral palette based off the sunrise palette? Yeah, I just didn't realize until like, I already had it that, oh, wait a minute. It's probably very similar to some shades in the Sunrise palette. And as you can tell by the eye look, it really is. But the swatches, like I said, the swatches do look different. Just different enough, but on the eye, I, I can't really see that much of a difference, so. Like, it doesn't, to me, look like I have two crazy, completely different eye looks or anything, so, <laughs> so, oh well. And I'm using the new Jouer Blush Duo in Rose Gold, and I love this duo. It's just the best little mini, perfect. I just, I dab my brush in both. And complete the little coral kind of makeup look. I have the Kevin O'Quan Molten Lip Color in Poppy Topaz, which is like this gorgeous pink with some gold shimmer through it. My lips are really chapped. I've been neglecting to put on lip balm at night. And that's it. I, I'll make powder and do some setting spray, but yeah. So that is the sunset. Sunset. The Sunrise palette versus the new Coral palette, both by Natasha Denona. Um, like I said, if I had known, I probably wouldn't have picked up the Coral palette, but I'm happy I have it. I think the shades are still beautiful. I think it's perfect for travel and, you know, I'm not a minimalist. I, I, <laughs> I just buy many, many new items, and even if I have similar stuff already in my collection, I'll still probably end up buying it. So to me, I, I'm glad I have it. I think it'll be perfect for, you know, a little trip away or anything rather than br bring the big Sunrise palette. But if you are considering one or the other, I would just go ahead and splurge for the Sunrise and skip the Coral palette. Um, 
because the price difference isn't that much and you get way more shades and you can create the same eye looks. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye.